What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thanks for stopping by Rico Toro. So today, we're going to talk about Puerto Rico versus Dominican Republic. Republic Dominicana, Puerto Rico. Que la que hay, que lo que. Already told y'all some differences, and you may have picked up on that or, or not. So, anyways, um, before we jump in, I'm going to give a shout out to our first responders, our healthcare workers, still continuing to fight the good fight for the coronavirus. And I'm also going to give my two cents. I'd be remiss if I didn't address the media elephant right now. And so much, uh, you know, my condolences with a heavy heart uh, go out to uh, George Floyd's family and loved ones, you know, and this is something I really wish more white people would think about this right here, what I'm about to say. This is not an isolated incident, but a cumulative response, all, I'm talking about all the, um, I'm talking about the violent protest and, you know, the, the high-fueled anger that you know we have in our streets in the united states at this time it's not a result of this one isolate this is not an isolated incident it's not a result of that it's a cumulative effect of injustice over repeated um unjust murders or officer involved killings but I wish more white people, like I say, like me, would look at it as a cumulative effect of a lot of things. Not, this is not an isolated incident. And nobody should go out like that. You know, um, we're talking about forgery and a keyword, allegedly, allegedly. And here's the thing, in the pandemic or plandemic, depending on who you talk to, if you if you think about it, all the, the millions of people out of work right now, there's going to be a lot more for forgery as well as credit card fraud, identity theft, etc. So at this time, you, you know, I expect some people, you know, that are hard as hit to, uh, you know, break a law or here and there or whatever. But no, nobody deserves like, you know, a knee in their throat for eight minutes, you know. Uh, so anyways, that's all I'm going to say on that. You know, I'm, I'm about uh, trying to be about positive energy and uh, um, positive spirits and, you know, manifesting uh, positive energy for myself and also spreading it to those around me. So, you know, here's, here's the thing. So, um, try to make this a little bit fun now. Um, you know, we're, we're talking about um, Puerto Rico versus Republic Dominicana. You know, there, there are some differences, but there's also some similarities. So, first and foremost, Puerto Rico is a U.S. territory, which means if you're a U.S. citizen, you do not need a passport to visit. There's all, you know, it's a little bit different than... 50 states in one sense that you don't pay federal income tax however if you work remote like I do my recommendation is keep your US address you know it's a good idea to do that uh, before you just try to switch everything over because your human resources department may see that as a no-no so so that that's just my advice um, so and I've been in Puerto Rico. The very first time was back in like 92. When I was in the Navy, we stopped there at the Roosevelt Roads Naval Base just to take on fuel and some supplies while we were doing other Caribbean operations. And, um, you know, that was sort of like a 40 minute, if I recall correctly, ride outside of San Juan. And a couple of us went to San Juan. Um, San Juan has a lot of nice hotels and casinos and most of you, you well everybody pretty much san juan is the airport um so 
And in San Juan, like I said, you have those hotels, those casinos. And back then we would have, um, there were two main mango shops, um, Black Angus and Lucky Seven. Black Angus is no longer there um, as, of la as of like 2008. Um, but early last year, when I went to Puerto Rico, there's a new place in the spot that Lucky Seven was. I think it's called Deja Vu or something like that. But anyways, for a little bit of, a little bit of time with a mango, um, well, well, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Um, so, you know, um, another difference is um, U.S. currency. And in general, um, I always saw Puerto Rico as like a hybrid between Florida, South Florida in particular, because of the Latin um, influence, and Dominican Republic. However, you have a lot of the same U.S. laws apply. And so, you know, when it comes to like traffic, driving, things like that, um, nobody has car insurance from what I understand. It's not really required, you know, so, you know, you're kind of on your own if you get an accident there. That's one thing. Um, and so food is expensive there. A lot of stuff is imported. Probably if you live there, you'll be facing like $100 a week grocery bill. And assuming that's assuming that you cook at home a lot, just one person. Two people might be a little more. If, or if you have special dietary needs, like you're vegetarian, it may go upwards toward 150. Um, to eat out, costs you, you know, like 50, 60 dollars for two sometimes, easily. Um, and uh, hotels, you know, I thought I was going to get like a post Hurricane Maria discount or something. I went on all the travel sites, and nothing. We're talking like 180 to like 250 a night seemed to be seemed to be like the fair medium price ranges in the San Juan area, and so what I so I would suggest an Airbnb. I had a fairly decent apartment, you know, and um, in a neighboring neighborhood, kind of near the airport, called Ocean Park, which. There's Isla Verde, which is one major touristy area near the airport. Beautiful beaches, etc. And then Condado was on the other side of Ocean Park, which is really nice um, casinos and um, discos and some kind of trendy uh, shopping, you know, some designer stores um, and restaurants. And then I was kind of in Ocean Park, which was uh, my little Airbnb 50 a night. I was there three nights. Close to the beach, though, but um, kind of pretty basic, uh, nothing special. Um, kind of cool neighborhood, though. Got, I got a chance to see a uh, um, little bit more kind of, I guess, how the locals live. Um, you know, and there is one thing about um, San Juan area is, is there's a lot of stateside of Americans there. Uh, you have, like, a whole area of old San Juan that... Um, has like a lot of finance guys, guys that trade cryptocurrency or, or uh, day traders and such. You know, some young, a lot of young dudes, pretty young dudes, um, you know, that found a way to, found a way to get their hustle on online there. So in, in, that, in that sense, it's similar to how Sasu is coming with, you know, some less traditional expats still working, finding their hustle versus just the old school uh, guys that have pensions which I'm gonna do another video on my different types of expats, et cetera, later. So, um, anyways, um, you know, Puerto Rico, like I say, more expensive, um, has some different laws, obviously. Um, if you're looking just a ballpark, if you're looking for a fairly regular apartment, if you want like a real like, you know, barrio kind of apartment, you know, um, you know, you'd be looking at like five, six hundred a month. But if you're uh, looking to be right on the beach, you're looking at about nine hundred to a thousand a month. 
and you know it's uh excuse the dog it's the, the neighbor's dog cool dog but anyways don't need to be all on video so um so that that's kind of that you know like i thought about moving there last year uh but again you know i i sort of asked too many questions at work and and the hr kind of made me uncomfortable about the idea so between my boss and me and some other people i never move you know i'm in between places and i've been traveling a while um as we call it so Anyways, um, you know, you do have a lot of Dominicans there. And, you know, to some, some will say there's racism against Puerto Ricans on Dominicans, treating them like second-class citizens, which, you know, there is some of that. But also there is a lot of stuff they do well together. Like, you know, I, I went to, like, a, a neighborhood restaurant, and there was one one Boricua chick working and one Dominicana working. They work in the bar, work in the restaurant, and, you know, everything was lovely, Puerto Rican and lovely. That's just some stuff I like to say. I think Fat Joe or Big Pond in the mix they did back in the day, one of their lines was Puerto Rican and lovely, sipping on bubbly, you know, come give me a hug, B, or something. So, all right, anyways. Um, so, anyways, so... So I think, you know, they get along pretty well. There's not too much hate amongst them. And as far as Puerto Ricans go, there's really no racism there. Even though they can come all shades, you know, dark as midnight to blonde hair, blue eyes. Pretty much they just look at each other like, hey, we're Boricuas. You know, que la que hay. So that's a difference in Spanish. Dominicans have que lo que. Puerto Ricans have que la que hay. Um, and couple other uh you know their own their own slang things you know um in the city they say puerto rico you go up in the mountains they say puerto rico and one thing that bothers me is ordering coffee there because they're kind of arrogant about it they're serious about their coffee like you know i'm kind of soft i can't drink dark coffee i need a little sugar and cream so what do we call that? Café con leche, right? Everywhere in the world, café con leche. In Puerto Rico, you ask for that, they're gonna like, go blend it up, put it in the machine, and bring you out a latte. And, you know, which kind of annoyed me a little bit. Um, as far as speaking Spanish goes, in San Juan, a lot of people speak English. There is a lot of like, like I say, there's a lot of gringos that, you know, live there. Um, there is a lot of bilingual Puerto Ricans, so you don't need a lot of Spanish. And some of them are very arrogant, like, like um, you know, they may speak English on a scale of one to 10, like a six, but I think of my Spanish might be like a seven. So if we're having a conversation, I'm gonna try to have it in Spanish. But some of them, they'll go out of their way to try to impress me or dominate it in English or, or whatever so some of they get sort of arrogant with it when they when they do uh, when they do um, speak English and, and know that you're not from there you know but I mean that's just my perception but that's also because you know I'm kind of uh, you know I don't know I just have my moments where I'm like you know this is just how I want to do things and and so um, but yeah, I mean, Puerto Rico's, you can have a good time there, you know, and, and um, yeah, as far as your entertainment, as far as, as, far as your, your ladies, your, your pay for play, um, you know, it, you're kind of dealing with the, um, the mango shops, bars, and you're looking at like 150 to 200 an hour. And then, and then you have like some online sites, like, Craigslist even had like a few where it might be listed in between miscellaneous job offers or housekeeping or whatever and you know it might say massage and more or massage plus you know um, full body you know entertainment whatever you'll figure it out when you see the ads you know <laughs> and a lot of times you go to their their hotel or place of business and you know same thing you know 150 to 200 you know and, and that's how you know that's how you know that 
I use the term hybrid between South Florida and DR. Well, that's how you know it's a little more, a little more Florida-ish than the paradise we know here. You know, tu sabes que lo que, todo lo que hay. Um, but, um, so yeah, that's, that's, you know, my comparisons. Um, like I said, you could have a good time there. I would say Puerto Rico is more suitable for a couple's trip or family trip than um, going with a, a group of guys. But, you know, not a bad trip just to do something different, out of ordinary. But, you know, I'm just, just letting you know, don't expect it to be just like uh, another form of, another form of the paradise you have here you just won't have the same you won't have the same amenities so um you know also another living expense thing there electricity is very expensive like a hundred plus or so a month um where here if you use your air a lot it might be like 50 a month 50 to 60 a month um which you know i am going to talk about cost of living soon here and uh um do a little bit of a street side uh, apartment tour, just some of the different areas that, that I like and, and stuff. And so anyways, thanks for subscribing. Hit that thumbs up and treat each other well. Be good. Be safe. Take care. Be well.